Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 12 of season 7 of my Alpha 17 experimental let's play. Uh, today uh, there was a an update. We are now on, if you look up here in the upper right corner, it is Alpha 17.1 B9. And in the last episode we were on B8. Um, I looked at the patch notes. It was a very, very minor update. There was only like two things that were changed. So I don't, I didn't think it would require a restart to, uh, continue on. So, yeah, here's hoping that, that everything goes okay. I, I, I don't know. I usually restart but um it it didn't seem like it was um you know gonna gonna break the game and i'm re getting really close to this the 14 day horde and i want to see i'm curious to see how they react to some of the things on the base uh so that if i do have to start over again maybe i would change things so maybe we'll go to the day 14 horde and see how it goes from there and and then decide if we're going to um continue on with this map or start over but it's a, it was a really small update so i'm not sure i am up at arms about what to do here oh <laughs> i was so busy during the night um Yesterday, uh, at the end of the episode, I went and I put uh, put some of the wood away, and then I wound up going and chopping down like another section of our trees. Uh, so I got another couple thousand wood, and I had over six thousand wood before nightfall. So <laughs> I just want you to see how much wood I have left now. 19 <laughs> that's right 19 wood so whoo <laughs> I used up quite a bit I was gonna go out gathering to get some more because we have very little but that's not what I want to do in our episode today so I didn't realize I was running out of time I started uh making some tool upgrades because I wanted to get a couple of our tools upgraded that we could upgrade. So I went ahead and I used that 30 iron to make another sledgehammer and look at that it's tier 5 because uh, we put the 6th level in so yeah if we could get to this one tier 8 because of our goggles we could craft uh, the tier six which is the best oh yeah uh but that's gonna be a while those are both three points each wow um i did level up a little bit overnight because i was i was gathering like a maniac and upgrading parts of the base and stuff like that uh but i also made us i put the modification in the sledgehammer and I started making a new compound bow because if we get more modifications uh, I want to be able to put them in and our compound bow is only level two. Oh yeah that's so awesome and we already had like the green dye in there so we wouldn't be able to do anything with that oh yeah there we go and I'm tempted to like keep these as spares I don't know um, so let's put that one in there and I decided now that we're level 35 we are level 35 aren't we we're level 37 now and we can make steel that I would go ahead so we can we can do the steel steel here it is 
Oh, oh, holy crap. We need to get a crucible to make steel. Oh no. Okay, so now we need to, I forgot about this part. Uh, we need to find out what this crucible takes. Okay, it has to be made in the workbench. It takes 40 forged iron, 10 mechanical, 1200 stone. Oh man, this is gonna be the tough part right here. We, we already have this. I have most, of, I took most of the stone off and put it in the chest, but this is gonna be the problem. We're going to have to go out and do some looting today. Uh, let's keep these tools as backup. I'm going to start carrying around our steel pickaxe because uh, it's... I'm only going to be using this to bust up rocks and that's going to get us more, um, more stuff and things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's put... Let's put our chainsaw away. I have a repair kit for it right there and the gas. I want to start carrying around the wrench now that we have the steel. But these guys, um, I want to put away. And I'm not going to upgrade my tools just yet, maybe. I could, uh, but I wouldn't need a pick. Uh, and it, it's only like one level for the the fire axe and the shovel. If I had more mods to go in there, because the, we got a, uh, we could put grave digger mods on there, but we don't have any, and we don't have the money. So we need to go loot. We need to loot some stuff. And look at that! I have two bacon and eggs left. That's all the food I have. That's it. No moss. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, we might have to use some of the money. We need to look out and we, we, yeah, we might have to go to like a vending machine and, and buy some food. Holy cow. Okay, so that's, that's not good. Uh, maybe we'll do a quick trader run. We have a little bit of cash and this. To sell look at this we have all these leather dust oh my god look at that we can sell these leather dusters so we have one down here that's the one we're keeping let's go ahead and put these over here this is our backup tools just in case something bad happens I'm tempted these aren't worth a whole lot to sell let's throw those in the forge and melt them down um, we have a poncho that I believe we made this, or no, I think we looted this. But I want to sell our padded armor. Because, uh, well, it's 124, but it's, it's worth something, right? Uh, but yeah, that's 240 coins. Uh, and the, the leather duster is 1621, whereas the poncho is only 413. So... This is way better than the poncho. Um, also, oh, I don't know. We might as well sell those. I don't know what to do with these extra football helmets and whatnot. Oh, and we have some silver nuggets to sell as well. I'm glad I saw that. Awesome. All right. Let's put these, um, I know that's a bug, it, I'm going to let those disappear, and we're going to put those, oh wow, look at that flag, I don't know, eight minutes, holy cow, I should have, oh, what is going on, why with the lag? There we go. Wow. Okay, well hopefully that'll give us a little bit of stuff. Now, um, I think what I want to do is let's go to the trader and sell this stuff. Uh, oh, oh, we have the, the bike, but we're really close to the trader. There's no... I can't even see... 
can't even see out across the way over my my own yard because it's so ooky out. But let's go sell this stuff to the trader and maybe see if he has a couple of decent foods to buy. Um, maybe something that won't give us food poisoning because the uh, yeah that's no good. And it might also be worth it to put the beanie back on just to not have to worry about getting cold because being cold for just a little bit is okay, but being cold for an extended amount of time, it will drop your stamina down, drop your hunger down, make you eat more. And right now I don't have food. I just don't have it. Hello, Bob. I need to see your inventory, man. Oh, look at that. He's got 1,200 wood. Oh. Wonder what else he has. Let's, uh, what? Let's sell first. Actually, did we have our barter max? I think we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So he's going to be showing us better stuff now because we did put that point in there. 237 coins. Oh yeah, we're going to sell them. Oh, he won't buy this? Oh, maybe we sold him one before. Oh, look at that. A thousand coins for that. Heck yeah. Awesome. There we go. We got 3,200. Sweet. Oh, and he's got a lot more stuff in this section. He's got two pages now. And he's got night vision goggles. A nail gun. Look, they're taunting me by making it just a little bit more than the money I have. Look at that. 33 coins short <laughs> for the nail gun. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really have any food that is going to not give me food poisoning. Oh, he's got a lot of cement. Oh, look at that. What does this do? Improves handling and aiming accuracy. Well, that would be good. I don't know if, um, oh, look, there's an improved fittings and a grave digger. Oh, run. <laughs> oh, but he's got 12. Oh, yeah. We got, I mean, we still have stuff to upgrade with this. There's no reason to not buy this stuff. And 1,200 wood. Oh, that's a thousand though for everything. Uh, I do need it though. Cause uh, maybe we'll buy like a, a couple hundred or something. They're just so we don't have very little. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, I think I want to buy these. Uh, at, at least the grave digger. Oh, I forgot about the food. Um, let's get a grave digger and one foregrip. And then uh, check outside at this uh, vending machine. Oh, look, he's got some raw meat for two. Oh, gotta buy that. 
Um, oh yeah, he's got a sham chowder. Grilled meat. Oh man, I'm tempted to buy that. I'm gonna buy that for four. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that too. It's just so cheap. And because that will help with our garden and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that grilled meat. All six of it. And maybe I'll buy this sham chowder. Man, that does a lot. And we'll put, we'll go and we'll put this other food back. Okay. Okay, so I feel a little bit better about our food situation. Uh, I don't really want to have to buy from a vending machine, but I'm really low. Really, really, really low. Okay, I want to show you, like, look at this. See this rock? Count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? One, two. This one was only three because it was already damaged. One, two. So wow, that's that's even only 10 hits. That's even better since we got a couple points spent. Awesome! Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to start uh, thinking about getting metal. Alright, let's go up and drop this stuff off. And I want to head to that rally point as quickly as possible. It shouldn't take us as long now that we have a mini bike. So, um, yeah, let's just quickly offload all of the stuff and things. We're going to not worry about the iron there. We're going to put this over here. Boom, boom. Um, the rocks can go up there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, we're gonna leave the sham chowder there. We're gonna just quickly throw the stuff in there. And we'll take care of those later. That's not gonna be anything for right now. Uh, so let's just quickly get on the road. We're gonna take the grilled meat with us because I don't think two is gonna last, so. Why won't it go down there? It only wants to go on the frame? Seriously? Wow, okay. Here we go. We're gonna go to the rally point that's a kilometer and a half away. Is there like... Uh, yeah, we haven't really discovered anything down there. Uh, so I don't know if there's a road, so we're just going to head cross-country. Head into the rally point. And, yeah, we're going to do our best to get through that. Oh, no. Okay, let's go down the road, because I don't want to go through the blasted lands um, on this. Oh! Oh! We're gonna have to jump off and get rid of this. Oh! There we go. Let's just chop it up. I know, we, we don't... Uh, we might as well loot up the feathers while we can because there's only a finite amount of bird's nests in the world <laughs> and once you've looted them all no more feathers unless you kill oh no and it's hot here oh bugger oh this is a horrible horrible place Look at this at least there's a road because I'd, I'd hate to do a lot of damage to the mini bike 
I'm just kind of like trying to look look around and see if there's maybe another oh here's another vulture they like to attack you while you're on the mini bike I know it's it's weird okay it looks like we're heading straight forward I don't want to go up that mountain I think that's gonna be too steep especially when this road looks like it goes right around Oh, that's a fun POI with that silo. Oh, there's a p big pawn shop. Oh. I think my least favorite biome, we're still gonna have to check out that paper mill, is this wasted land. I mean, and it's, oh, there's a dog. Holy crap, I hope we didn't aggro him. I mean, we got a shotgun ready to blow him to bits, so... Oh good, we're at least out and into the desert. It's still going to be hot, so we're going to have to... Maybe we'll pick some... Oh, I don't think... I don't think the yucca juice has actually given you a buff to help you cool off, so it might not even be worth bothering with that because I did try it the other day and I didn't get a buff or anything and my temperature didn't go down so I don't know maybe we might need to look into it more is it the church I don't think so it maybe it's this building over here we're really close um, seriously, this old broke down building? Is this it? Oh, look at all this. This is like a construction site. Is this it? I think it has to be. Yeah, it's at the back. Oh, okay, now we're in the cold biome again, so good. We're at least partially prepared for it. Look at this. It's got a workbench. Oh, I hear a piggy. Let's go take care of Mr. Chin. Mr. Chin, there's Mr. Piggy. There we go. All right. Oh, I didn't load. Oh, that didn't kill him. He's angry. Oh, no. Oh, whew. Okay, we're definitely gonna break out our hunting knife for this guy. Oh yes. Um, I can't wait till our farm. We just need like some potatoes and carrots to uh you know what I'm gonna do? We could like just loot this cement up real quick. Just this line over here. I hear something destroyed cement mixer. Maybe we'll loot those rocks, too. Oh, I shouldn't be looting ahead! What am I doing? Oh, look. There's a stairway. I think uh, this is where we're supposed to go. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Let's get, let's at least get these. I know we're gonna need... <gasps> Look, it only takes two hits to get these. Oh my goodness. Where did you guys come from? Oh, I totally missed that. Totally missed that. Yeah, look at how fast our hunger is draining. Because we're cold. Oh, I should have brought that beanie, man. But 
look at what the steel pickaxe is doing. Two hits on these. That is awesome. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. And now I got sand. I don't want the sand. Look at that. That's... Holy cow. Where... I... There must be guys under here or something. All right. Um, let's go out here and make a chest. Put it a good ways away. And we'll put all of our stuff and things that... We're going to keep the food on us, though. Cooked food. If we uh, if we find a pot, we're gonna keep it in case we need to cook this meat up. Okay. And we'll probably be needing our axe back. Let's do this. Yeah, I think that would be a good way to go. All right, so let's let's start this so we can get inside because we're cold. And we're getting hungry. And let's go ahead and eat and drink up. Just so we don't have to worry about it once we get this thing started. Okay, we're supposed to clear the area on this one. Alright. Everything popped back. All the little rocks and stuff. Okay, we're going down. Because uh, everything looks like it's going to be underground. I'm going to try to not loot anything until... <sighs> until the end. Actually, you know, some of this stuff might actually get destroyed. So I want to try to, I guess, loot. Hello? Oh, this is going to be really hard to find shelter. Because... Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, we're going to be pretty much screwed here for... Oh, man. I think we already pulled a couple of guys on accident. Let's get that barrel. Oh, here's a guy. Why did that unzoom? Okay, it looks like this is a hole... Oh! Holy! Oh, I'm zoomed. And I'm crouched. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Wandering board. Oh crap. It's dog day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That was horrifying. Well, let's... Might as well clean these guys up, I guess. Oh, that was it! It says talk to the traitor now. Um, was that part of this? Oh my god! That is crazy. Oh my god. Okay, that's why there was all these dead bodies or something.
Oh, this would have been a fantastic place to uh, loot again with all the bricks and the concrete lying around. Is this where they came from? This tunnel? Might as well get these because we're like, oh, look at that. Might as well get all of these because we're we're not seeing a whole lot of like duct tape or glue dropped. So we might as well get all the bones while we can. Hopefully there'll be some good food in these boxes. Plastic? You cannot eat plastic. Seriously? And we're still a little bit down on our um, stuff there. It looks like that'll do it or get it close enough. Oh man. Give me a freaking heart attack. Are you serious? A bunch of freaking wolves and a bear? A zombie bear? If he hadn't gotten caught, I would have been dead. If he hadn't got caught in that, um, let's go ahead and get our paper. Why not? Um, I guess we could get the, is that not plastic? Or is it now metal? Why you don't give me plastic? Okay, well that was a waste. Well, no not to loot those with the wrench next time. Um, but I think we're gonna need, we're gonna need the pick and the shovel to get all of this, uh, cement and rocks and stuff that's in here. Definitely want to grab that. Oh. Oh, look, a backpack. Man, that was completely terrifying. I thought I was going to die. I don't know why I'm not dead. Um, I don't understand <laughs> how I survived that. Holy cow, I backed myself into a corner, which was bad. But I guess it all worked out. There's a stairway down. Um... Do I, do I get a, a smash? Oh, I do get the paper if I smash it with the hammer. Okay. That's good. Very, um, small P.Y. The stairs are broken. Hmm. But I'm going to get as much of this stuff as I can because I'm still, uh, I still need all the cobblestone and stuff. Oh, look, there's another backpack hiding behind there. Sweet. Heck yeah. Um, I wish I would have put that grave digger in now, but I didn't know we were going to be digging stuff, but... I was I was one to hurry to to get over here because I wasn't sure uh, how long it was gonna take to do this. Man, that was crazy. I don't even know how many dogs that was. I think it was like five or six. Oh, I really thought I was gonna die. Thank you, Mr. Shotgun. <laughs> if not for you, I would be dead. Oh, look at all the cement. Oh, and we're back in the cold again. We must have, one of them zombies must have made a noise, or I must have made a noise. I had no idea what was in there, or I would have been way more careful. <laughs> Holy cow. Because to come upon 
all of those. Yeah, I, I, it, uh, I'm speechless. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> to come upon all of those all at once is like a death sentence, unless you know you have a really good shotgun. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so I think we got everything down here. Let's have a look up top. We know we got a little bit up here. See, because sometimes before you would have the day 12 things. I mean, that it finished. I think that was part of this um, thing. Ooh, 84 cement. I don't know though, so what's good is we have the mini bike now, so if we get a little bit encumbered, it's not really gonna matter. Um, I really like that. So, let, yeah, let's definitely, I know I'm gonna need all the rocks once we can make cement. Um, isn't cement can't we like can we make cement now let's look because i can sure use some upgrades around the base what is is that in advanced engineering yeah we gotta have int seven. Oh wow that's gonna take three points and you gotta be level 40 and we're level 38 so maybe we'll go ahead and put or three points in there. I don't know though, man. Cement would be really, really nice. We could also craft guns and stuff, so that means we could make our own shotgun and get a, a really nice one that we could put mods into. So that would be awesome, too. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. That way when we're level 40, we can just, boom, put that in there and we'll be done. Alright, I think there might be... Yeah, see over there, there's some more... Stuff. How do we get over there? <laughs> Is any of this gonna like fall on us? I hope not. There's the stairs. How do we get over there? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so just a little bit of cement over here. It looks like it might have warmed up a little. I'm not cold anymore. So that's good. We still need to eat. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit to keep us up. Do we need a, a drink too while we're at it? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything behind here? No? Okay. I'll take the free rocks. That's just it's so easy to get them. There's no reason to not get these rocks. I can't pass it up. Alright. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and make a look. Oh, look, there's more up here. Let's get it all. I'm greedy. I admit it. It's a character flaw. I want all the stuff and things. All the stuff and things belong in my pockets. Now, I think um, having a level 2 pickaxe, a steel pickaxe, is still going to be better than our uh, level 5 uh, iron pick. So, I mean, just going to have to deal with seeing a two there, I guess. <laughs> well, all my other ones have these pretty blue bars. That one's going to be orange. So 
So I think that's it for here. That looks awesome. Uh, we got tons. Oh, uh, look at all of that. Not a whole lot of rocks, but we got 251 cement. That's uh, quite a bit. It's quite a bit. And we should be able to just hold everything. So that is awesome right there. And we got a ton of rocks. Look at all that. That is awesome. So that was good because uh, we'll use the rocks for sure. So let's go ahead and head back. We didn't find a pot or anything and we still got a little bit of food. We're still jacked. I hope uh, we get back safely. Can I? There. There we go. Ooh. All right. Shouldn't be, uh, wasn't too bad of a run. And we know we got, like, a whole nother freaking town down here, Bob. <laughs> there should be no reason that we get a quest further than a kilometer away with all of these towns. Um, I think we're just gonna have to go up, up, up. Oh, there we go. And, yeah, just travel down this road. And then we'll go boom. Actually, this road right here, that's where we want. That's where we want to turn. Awesome. Oh, we're sweltering. Oh, man. That's no good. I really would like to... You know, not have to worry about that every time I change a biome, having to worry about dying of a heat stroke or freezing to death. But I don't know. I mean, if you put the points into... Um, I saw that there was a line that you could put points into to increase your heat and cold resist. I mean, is, is that even worth it to put those points in? I don't know. Uh, right now, it might make actually make the difference between getting hot and co I mean cold with our current gear. Is that like a vulture on me? I don't know. Oh man! So I'm hoping that was a road on the map. that led right to the trader from this main road. That would be awesome. Not there yet. I sure would like to, man, I like that first map that I was on where it had like a central town. Are we close? Right up here, I see the road, sort of. It's just, uh, can't really see it. It's just the lack of objects on it. And this should take us right to the trader, I think. Yeah, there it is, right there. Awesome. Ride right up on our little mini bike. Get our reward. Oh, yeah. It's too bad about the wood as well. I would really like to see them work on those pallets and get it to where, you know, it's not just, oh, you break this pallet and you get one piece of wood. I don't know. I would think, you know, even if it's just like 10 or 20, that's still better than like one. It's not even worth hitting for one. All right, Bob, you better be good to me. Now we're cooking with gas. Um, let's see, 288 or 120. I think I'm going to take the leather chest and sell it. Yeah. Sell it right back to him. 
and we're gonna check and see hopefully he has a <sighs> look at this crap Bob seriously you need to to we're gonna take these three the that are over five kilometers we're actually I think there's a way we can just reset him uh, reset well no I don't really want to do that I don't really need to do them right now because uh, we can't do it today we don't have enough time so we're gonna just take these and get rid of them I'm so glad there's not like a penalty for doing this because that would suck to have to get those and, and go do something that's like seven kilometers away Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Um, Can you do me a great? All right. See you again. All right. Let's just get rid of all of them because the other ones are buried supplies, and I'd rather do, like I said, I'd rather do something that's well. Honestly, it depends on where these guys are. Let's go ahead and get rid of the fetch. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. Uh, because we need dirt. We need a lot of dirt um, for our crucible. So I think what we might do is go ahead and take. We might take one of these uh, jobs. Let's do the one one. And hope that that puts us in a place that actually has dirt. That's what we're looking for, is the dirt. Because we got tons of rocks and stuff. And let's go ahead and sell that leather to him. 288. We don't really have anything else to sell. Oh. Um, another thing we need to do is when we're out and about. Look at that. There's a weapon flashlight. I don't have enough. Yeah, he just doesn't have any food. I would like those fittings. I have enough for it. I'm going to buy it. Ah, ha, ha. I bought, I bought it. Blood, now I don't have any money. We got to go. Um, we don't really have a lot of time to do anything else and I'm just gonna run over there because like it's right across and maybe we'll like bust a couple of these rocks just to get some metal um I finished up with the room underneath except I haven't uh solidified all of the wood frames so like the wood frames are empty except in the corner what what okay I didn't want that rock anyway <laughs> it's mean you know so what I'm probably gonna do tonight oh man it's we need metal and we need dirt uh, but in order to get the steel, um, we're going to have to get the dirt. So maybe we'll just, um, I think I'll go down and start a room below <laughs> the room below the base. Um, and hopefully on the top part of that, We'll be getting, um, 
dirt is the objective here. Uh, on the top two layers will be dirt, hopefully. Oh, and we made a level. Awesome. So we have our one skill point. Well, actually we could spin this and because when we make 40, um, I finished off this side. Boom. All four sides have tree farms now. So we should be able to harvest at least one side every day. Look, that one's done now. I can go harvest that when we're done here. Um, I made... I solidified these. These are going to signify this is my pathway to the base. And I want this area completely free of any obstacles. Just be able to go and go up. And we might, um, in order to preserve a little bit of materials, maybe we'll only use the wedges and the wedge tips on like these three blocks on each side just so I can like drive a vehicle up or what whatever um, but I was trying to think what I could do to sort of pr keep them from the ladder I don't even know if they'll go for it now it's gonna be a lot harder for them to go to each side unless they start busting blocks which they can totally do uh, but I'm hoping maybe we might upgrade all around because it's real easy for them to break through just this normal wood. Um, it's a lot easier than I thought. I mean, even a screamer can come punch through and they're like the weakest zombies. <laughs> anyway, um, oh man. So very little food right now um i'm gonna probably see i want to build some more pillars like here put a doorway and then wall this off so that they actually have to go through quite a bit to get to this uh, i don't think that they will be targeting the ladders anymore because I went around and upgraded all the hatches so it's going to be really hard for them to get through those hatches now and I think that's going to be a huge deterrent but I honestly don't know so what I want to do is not even start to do this just yet we're going to leave it open and see if they go for it. See if they go for the ladders still like they did. Uh, on that first horde, they destroyed every single ladder they could reach. <laughs> At least the first, the bottom two ladders were destroyed on all sides. And we're gonna go in. Uh, so I did put, I did put the, the pillars and a roof over this. I thought about putting bars, but I was like, the whole purpose behind this is so that I can stand down here and shoot these guys and uh, not get wet. Because I have the mining helmet on, I'm, um, I'm going to be a little bit more susceptible to the cold over here and that's no good. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how, how am I still wet? Ah! Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. We had a good run. Uh, next time we, <clears throat> we are gonna go try to do the buried supplies. We might not need the dirt at that point. But we need, we do need a lot of dirt. Uh, not even, not, I mean... Not just for the crucible, but I have four, well, three more plots of farmland that I would like to get out. And we need dirt for all of that. And it's going to be like 81, 81 forest ground. And they take 16 dirt each. So that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. 
so yeah we'll we'll plan on going to the white the the, the buried supplies next episode and I'm probably gonna try and fill in corners anyway <laughs> I could talk all day about this game I love it anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye